Hey Wicked Army, Wicked here and welcome to a Clash of Clans sneak peek. This is all about the new troop levels that are coming to Clash of Clans. But before I start though, I'd like to mention I've released a few sneak peeks at the same time. So check them out in the description or the pinned comment down below after this video. Let's see if we can get 500 likes for this episode, see if we can hit it as a community. And subscribe to this channel for the latest sneak peeks and update gameplay for both Clash of Clans and Clash Royale. Just a reminder though guys that this is the developer's build. Cannot show stats because they could be changing before the update hits. But let's get on with the sneak peek. So the troops that are getting a level up are the Golem to level 6, Hog Rider to level 7, and the Poison Spell to level 5. So let's see these troops in action. Alright guys, we have the level 5 Golem and the level 6 Golem side by side against single target Infernos. And you don't really see that much of a difference until the breakage of the full Golem and then the last Golemite going down on the left side. And uh, it's only a, a second or half a second or so, but you can notice the difference there. So let's go into the Poison Spell. So the Poison Spell's radius is slightly increased. So on the right it's the before. And uh, on the left is the after the update when it comes out. So, and it also is increased to a level five poison spell as the max poison spells. I really wanted to feature this attack by Lord Val. You would have seen him in a few live streams lately. Uh, he does have his own YouTube channel, so I'll put the link in the description below. He does three star this base using AQ walk and some hogs. And uh, as you can see, he's also sporting the new level 45 heroes. Um, I do have an episode about that in the top right in the eye. So click on that after this video and you will get directed to that episode. And this also uh, talks about the, the other witch buffs and other balance changes in that episode as well. So the Archer Queen's making a charge into the corner. As you can see, the defense has the fortified walls, the, 40, the 50 pieces that are coming out um, in the new update. Uh, to level 12 and the barbarian king at level 45 is coming in from the south and releasing those barbarians um, to clear that southern area and also luring the clan castle here comes the hog riders in a mass attack formation and uh we're gonna pretty much overcrowd that inferno tower to knock it out and uh you would see that he has extra spells because because you can as a town 11 fit an elixir cost of two spell slots in your clan castle now when you request and uh, instead of just one dark spell of like a, a poison spell or an earthquake spell so um, you can fit two spell slots in your clan castle when you request which is amazing which may which means town hall 11 has a spell advantage over a town hall 10 so um, as you can see you put the free spell in a good spot there he's free frozen that expo and also that inferno tower and uh, he's got a giant bomb to go through, but he also has one last heal spell. So he wouldn't have that extra heal spell if he didn't have those two spell slots in his clan castle. So a um, really good advantage. As you can see, the loon is quite slow, is, isn't catching up with the hog riders. And the lava hound isn't really doing that much damage. So I hope you guys enjoyed those new troop levels and spell level in action. Please put in the comments below hashtag update hype if you watch the entire video. Also down in the comments, let me know what kind of raids you want me to do before the update hits um, and what town hall level you would like me to do it at. So uh, that will make it a lot of fun and you, a lot of you guys are probably curious what are the changes in those town hall levels. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Smack that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new and remember guys, stay wicked.